and according to the commandments of God and in the faith of Jesus, we will now baptize Shabbat in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Welcome everyone, um, I'm very grateful today to be at Brother Ricky's house, his wife and children. This is a very special day and um, being the fiancé of Shavert, just, uh, I've been asked to uh, say a word of prayer. hope you all join with me now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this blessed Sabbath day and indeed it's a high Sabbath day. Heavenly Father, you gave everything when you gave your only begotten son. And today is an outward acknowledgement, an outward demonstration of that inward conversion. Heavenly Father, the all-important born-again experience. Jesus said, you must be born of the Spirit and of the water. And so today, Lord, I pray that this brings glory into your name. And that whoever is watching this, whoever is present, whoever is considering in their heart to make the same decision, Lord, I, I pray that you press upon them to work with your Holy Spirit for them to make a full surrender. Because there's nothing to fear, Lord. There's no fear in love. And God is love. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the power that attends, um, that will attend this solemn um, sacrifice of self, Lord, um, as an outward display of actually what's already been going on in, in Shabbat's heart for um, many months now, Lord. A deeper conversion. And Lord, I just pray if anyone hasn't had experience, Lord, you press upon them the conviction now with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for uh, fellowship. We thank you, Lord, that everybody's here present to witness it. Once more, Lord, all glory to you. May I uh, bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Ring the bells of heaven, spread the peace today. Angels round the glad triumphant spring. Tell the joyful tidings, very far away. For a precious soul is born again. Tis the phantom glory like a mighty sea, peeling forth the anthem of the free. Glory, glory, how the angels sing. Glory, glory, how the loud heart ring. Tis the ransom glory like a mighty sea, peeling forth the anthem of the free. Wasn't just long ago we were here. I believe a month or two, two months ago. My brother Carl was baptized. And we have another precious soul with us who um, the Lord has led mightily in her life. The uh, Lord has been speaking to her as I was at a verse with her this morning. How God led her to this point of um, wanting or desiring to be fully keep um, God's commandments and be ready for His return and also be ready to do the work that God has given her to do. And she's uh, made a decision. And as she shared with me some of her testimony, in fact, it might be wise maybe to summarize your testimony, why you have decided to make this decision to be baptized to the Lord. To be honest, there's a lot I can say, <laughs> but I think I'll keep it short. Um, I don't know if I should share it because I don't know what it's going to be. over me in a way that I'm only now beginning to understand more fully and um, as I understand more of his love, more of his patience, more of his, his word and his law, I've decided that I'm going to commit myself to a trustworthy saviour who has given his life for me and who wants the best for me. So um, I think that's what my journey has been and by God's grace it will continue to be that way. Thank you all for being here as well. Thank you. We thank Shabetta. She's allowing us to witness this um, occasion, this special occasion. 
You know, heaven witnesses this occasion. The Bible says when one repents of their sins, there is what? Joy in heaven. And before we begin, before we do the baptism, I'm going to go through the um, baptismal vows with Shabbat. And after I do, do the, when I go through the vows with Shabbat, you just said, yes, I do. And then we know that, um, we know that she's already studied and we know that she's gone through the, uh, the, the doctrines of the church and is accepted um, and is ready to make those decisions. So, Yvette, the first um, what I'd like to say is, do you accept all the Bible as the inspired Word of God and do you take it as your rule of faith? Is it your purpose to ever walk according to its teaching? Do you, have you, sorry, have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior for salvation for, from sin, for a real change of heart, and will you permit Him by the Holy Spirit to live in you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Have you repented of and confessed all known sin to God, and do you believe that He, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you as far as possible, have you tried to make matters right with your fellow men? By God's grace, I do, yes. Amen. Is it your purpose, by the grace of God, to live a true Christian life, by surrendering all soul, body, and spirit to God, to do His will, in all things and keep the commandments of God. Do you believe and accept the great truths of the Word of God concerning the personal, visible, literal, imminent return of Christ? Immortality only through Christ, the unconscious state of the dead, and the destruction of the wicked and the other kindred truths that compromises the special message of Revelation 14, 6-12, the three angels' message. I do. Will you practice the Bible plan for the support of God's work by rendering unto Him first the tithe or one-tenth of your increase, and then offerings as you may be able according to God's prospering hand upon you? Is it your purpose to obey the command to eat and drink to the glory of God, abstaining from all intoxicating liquors, swine's flesh, narcotics, tea, coffee, and every other harmful thing? I do. Amen. Are you willing to follow the Bible rule of modesty and simplicity of dress, reframing from the wearing of earrings, necklaces, bracelets, beads, rings, any form or from any lack of dress that is an out of keeping with the uh, Bible rule of modesty. And do you believe in the existence of God as a personal being who is our Heavenly Father? Amen. And as you have read it before all these witnesses, you are now ready to um, give your life and to also partake of the sacred life. You know, by the God said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in what? The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things that she has commanded. And we know that Shevet has accepted the message of the three angels and is now ready to make that decision and be ready when Jesus shall come in the clouds of glory. And if there's to be anyone here, that would also follow and make that decision, then approach your brother, approach those studies, and begin to also desire this baptism in as evidence as what Chevette's doing. And now we will get into the baptismal pool.
specified that she wants to be baptized in the Lord. And according to the commandments of God and in the faith of Jesus, we will now baptize Shabbat in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>